Hi, the purpose of this video is to show you how you can upload an inventory adjustment uh, from an Excel file. So, for example, here I have this uh, setup where I have some products. I have uh, six products. As you can see, here are the products. So, in order to perform an inventory on these products, first of all, you need to export the names here. So, I come select them all, then action export. Here what I needed is the display name, so I'm going to write display, here the display name, I add it here, I am not going to need any of these fields except the display name, export. Now I have an Excel with the names as you can see here, these are the product names, I have keyboard, laptop, monitor, mouse, printer and UPS charger. The next step is to go to Inventory, Operations, Adjustment. Here what I need is a template, an Excel template of the inventory. In order to get this template, I go to Favorites, Import Records. Here Import Template for Inventory Adjustment. I tap here, it will download a file. I will open this file. As you can see, this is a template of the file we want to perform an inventory adjustment on. So here, as you can see, the product name, the serial number, if this product has a serial number, we don't have serial number, so I am going to delete this. The quantity means the current quantity. I am not going to need this also. What's important is the counted quantity. Uh, here, this is very important, so I'm going to leave it. The difference, also I won't need it. Assign to, if you have a user and you want to you want to assign this uh, inventory to such user, you can put the username here. I don't have a user, so I will be the one performing this uh, inventory. Still have the scheduled date, the counted quantity and the product name. Here it gives me an example of some product, so I'm going to remove this all the names and I will go to uh, the my product names the ones I have here as you can see keyboard laptop monitor etc and put them here remove all the unnecessary rows like that and for the date, you have to put a scheduled date. Let's put uh, today date, which is the 21st of February 2023, like that. Now I have the date set up. I have the product names, still have the quantities. Let's say, for example, this one is 42 pieces. Let me zoom a little bit. This one 100, this one 123, this one 42, and that one 52, this one 60, uh, 86. Now I'm going to save this file on the desktop. I'm going to name it Inventory, give it today date. This is not necessary, you can put any, any name in you want like that. Now I have all the setup needed for the inventory adjustment. I go back to the system here at the inventory operations inventory adjustment then favorites import records then upload the file going to choose my file which is on the desktop inventory 2023 Odo here will recognize automatically the fields. So the first column will be the product. The second column will be the counted quantity. The, the third column and the last one is the scheduled date, which date this inventory is going to be performed. Here I have the test to test if everything is okay. So Odo will give me everything seems valid. So I push import. Now I imported all my products with the new counted quantities. This is the old counted quantities. As you can see, all the quantities was uh, were zero. 
and the difference is here the scheduled date I put and the user will will put my name automatically because I am the user who performed the upload now what I do is just select all of them and tap on apply all here it will give me the inventory reference reason what was the reason uh, I'm going to say initial initial inventory this way maybe I'm going to give it a date 21st apply now as you can see all the products have been updated important note all the products should be storable products now if I go to products and choose for example laptop you can see that the number of units is 100 here is 100 and also the product type is storable product make sure all the products are storable if you choose service or consumable inventory adjustment won't work thanks for watching and please subscribe and share the video